But anyhow, um, yeah, Soto and Chad, where you were doing dumb debates. And for our next topic, and I can't believe you brought this up, Soto. And for people who don't yeah. know, I was born in Chicago, which mm-hmm. coincidentally would not change my opinion on the next topic, but it makes it a little bit funnier. Um, I feel like it yes. is the reason for the topic. Is no, it? no, it's is not. It, it, it is okay. and it All isn't right. it, because okay. you're bringing it up. But do you <laughs> okay. ketchup belong on hot dogs? Now, <laughs> no, they don't. And but to me, ketchup doesn't belong on shit. I, I, I when I was a kid, <laughs> well, that like, I cannot agree with, sir. Oh that no, no. I I, agree I, with. I, so all right. First of all, you know, when I was a kid, just like most people, uh-huh. I loved ketchup. Yeah. You know, you go to McDonald's, you have ketchup, you got fries, blah blah sure. blah. You know, yeah. and I used to eat it. And I don't. All of a sudden, I got taste buds, and I'm like, you know what? Ketchup is kind of shit. <laughs> I know I'm going to get blasted for this. And I'm just like, I don't need to put this on anything if I don't like it. And so I stop. You know, I do, you know, if I have fries, I do barbecue sauce, mustard, you know, whatnot. You know, I'll do something else. I like, I don't care. Um, hot dogs, again, mustard. But I, I can't do ketchup. Now, I will say this. If I go out, like, to a McDonald's, which is very rare, and I forget to say no ketchup, I will deal with it. But I am not happy You'll about it. Do uh, you're like I'm gonna deal with the situation right now. I will deal with the situation, but okay. so well, yes, meatloaf. for people. For, no, oh, no, no, I don't. No. Why? Meatloaf, I, I can't. Ketchup is just gross. Oh my god. So yes, there is a lot of different hot dogs, and for people, and I had a screenshot, but yes, a Chicago hot dog has the uh, basically the um, like the sesame hot dog bun. Um, that's got like burger. pickles on it too, or some shit. Um. Yes. Is that um, like a pickle? Yes. I'm trying to see if I can. <laughs> if I that's still like have. adding a vegetable to it. So, like, do you put onions on your hot dogs? Yes, like raw but I, white onions. Oh no, I, I like cook. Well, actually, if it's raw, I'm fine with onions. Onions, but I will put whatever <laughs> on my hot dog that's there. <laughs> um, actually, I think. <laughs> I might have whatever hot... that's there like well no like, like whether it's raw ketchup. or grilled so not one does okay. grilled onions like some i would prefer grilled onions but if there's just raw onions i love onions i am fine with onions uh, but yeah so <laughs> then they have so yes it's the uh spear pickle that goes straight down um a uh-huh. couple tomatoes they, to sp- the one thing my daughter loves sports it's called sports peppers um, which is hard to find. I actually had order them on. They're peppers? called sports peppers. They have different names, but yeah, that's the main name. Um, what? Yeah, obviously sports? mustard, and then celery. No, but it's, it's that, well, maybe it's for sport. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but it's actually called the sport pepper. It's got a little kick to it. But yes, it, okay. a Chicago hot dog, fucking great. Um, you can get it. It's Sonics, um, but obviously if you're in the Illinois area. You'll get a real one, but yes, they will not put ketchup on it. I don't like ketchup. That's why I say I can I will never put ketchup. You just on don't it. even like ketchup at all. I, I like, hate not ketchup. Even like I on, hate ketchup. On some like hash browns or something. Oh fuck like that, that shit! Or... No, I never got even as a kid. I never got why people put ketchup on eggs. Do you put ketchup on eggs? <laughs> I, I I have had ketchup on eggs, but no, I don't. I put like hot sauce on my eggs. So like I'll put like Cholula because I'm a big hot sauce guy. Okay. So I'll put like Cholula or sriracha or shit like that on it. Uh, but like the only time I will use ketchup and it's funny cause I hated ketchup before. Um, so I did have your opinion on things. I used to actually say like, if you're above the age of like five years old, like you shouldn't be using. Yes. Ketchup. I listened to that podcast where you said that <laughs> and then we'll, we'll, I'll reference that in a second, but go on. I'm sorry. I, let me, I, I kind of ranted. Let me give you the full back. I it's apologize. Okay. No, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying like, you know, I, 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 but like I have lately come around and been like, okay, like maybe a little bit of ketchup on like, if I'm out to breakfast and I'm having like, um, home fries, right. Mm-hmm. I'll put some ketchup on there, like to just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. Like I don't use too much, but just to give it a little bit different taste, because it's like it's, a, it's like a a savory sweet kind of a thing. Because I I am a person that does dip my French fries in Wendy's Frosties. Like I think that that's delicious, and I think that's a great move. I know some people are not about that, but I I'm think okay it's with great. that. I love, I, I've done that. I love I'm okay salty that. sweet. Yeah. I love salty sweet. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I like salted caramel ice cream. Um, I just like salty sweet. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've picked up on it. I've, I've been okay with it and I will like, again, like if I have a meatloaf sandwich, like I'm putting ketchup on that shit, uh, because it just adds, it just cuts into the overall fatty savoriness of the meatloaf and it just gives it a little bit of a, I don't know, like a sweet kick to it. And I like that shit. Like if I had my, if I had a choice, would I choose like, um, like I have a Japanese barbecue sauce that I really like. 
Like, would I put out that? Sure. But in a pinch, I have no problem with ketchup on a hot dog. I mean, like, to me, I'll grab some ketchup, put it on a hot dog with some mayonnaise. I'm not mayonnaise. I apologize. Mustard. My dad used to put it in mayonnaise, by the way. Disgusting. Um, <laughs> but I, some, some mustard and some ketchup on a dog, dude, I'll eat that shit all day. Now, I don't eat hot dogs because they're awful for you, and I'm sure you don't either anymore. Um, but He yeah, said that I had them last week. <laughs> Did you really? All right, we'll get that. I want to go through the chat real quick because I, I, Cynic is. What'd, been... you, what'd you put on it? I, I will get to that in a sec. So, first of all, Cynic, yes, chili dogs. I'm going to kind of backtrack a few. I love chili Ooh, dogs. I, like chili I mean, dogs. I, chili so dogs, good. I like chili on anything is fucking great. Yes. Um, what I, I kind of saw this. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried it. What was it? Um, a Chilean hot dog? He says it's the best. It's avocado, mayo, Ooh. and diced tomato. I mean, I, I'm all for that. Don't get me I wrong. I don't know about the mayo part, but maybe yeah, the avocado. Because my dad used to like slather mayonnaise on hot dogs, and nothing could be gross. I think I may have done it when I'm drunk because I have a drinking problem. Um, that could be. That could be. I can understand that. And um, I've done it when I'm drunk, but like that avocado, like avocado is slept on man it's fucking delicious and i do yes chicago is known for their deep dish pizzas and i get that people don't like it just because it's kind of sarah to... says is not a real pizza by the way so that'll be like not have the, no future, no it is it is it's got, debate, all, it's got like... all it's got all all the ingredients this is not a, like a hot dog is a sandwich shit it has now it might be the different order but it's a fucking pizza because it has the ingredients i will ride that more than i will ride that people say a hot dog is a sandwich because it's not um, so yes, I, 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 all right. So I've been, I, I have not had hot dogs a lot. So with the five guys, I'm like, fuck it, I'm getting a hot dog. I'm like, I want a hot dog. And so here's what I had on it. Wait, you got uh, a hot dog on five guys. I didn't even know five guys had hot dogs. They do. They, they, that. they do. They do. They do hot dogs. Um, cause they have like a hot dog. Um, you can do like cheese dog or a bacon cheese dog. And I didn't even do the bacon or the cheese. Um, oh, but thank God. Yeah. Well, I did. <laughs> I've done bacon on a burger. Like I have to really watch my bacon intake. But anyhow, so on my mm -hmm. hot dog, I had barbecue sauce, I had mustard, I had grilled onions, and I had I, th I felt like I'm missing and grilled peppers. I kind of went the grill. Like I wanted. I think it's because like sausage. You know, I, dude, that's that's the Chicago sausage kibasa, Yes, but you know they because they <laughs> split the way they split the hot dog. Five Guys actually has a really good hot dog. Um, wow. What so I I, I, did, I didn't want just like a plain not a plain but a basic hot dog. So I was like I kind of wanted like a grilled hot dog, and Five Guys actually makes a good hot dog. So that's what I had. Wow. On it. I would never ask for. Oh, relish. I think I put relish on it. Oh, God, yeah. I, loaded I it. like oh, relish. I, I love relish. Can't do the relish same thing. Yeah, relish is awesome. Um, and I was like, fucking, I'm going to do it. And we were doing five guys. I'm like, I'm I, I, I'll take. tell you right now, Chad. I, I, I don't think there's any nutritional value in a hot dog. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, it's like white bread. The, I love white. You know, I, I do wheat bread because of the nutritional favor. But I, I think white bread's one of the best. But yes, there's no nothing nutritional about a hot dog. Like a hot dog can probably only hurt you. It can't help you. Like, well, if you have a, a hot dog if you will have only a, hurt you. If you have a Chicago style hot dog, you know you got the pickle, you got the tomato, you got the neon relish. That's the weird. I will admit, if there's one thing weird about a Chicago hot dog. It's the fact that they make the relish neon green. It's that's it. It's just I have no it's, problems it, with that. It, it, it looks awesome, but in the long run, like it doesn't taste different. But yes, I am a relish guy. Dude, I love relish. Well, like, what kind? Well, I've also had like sweet pepper relish and shit like that, like the red one. Usually, I mean, yeah, good. just basic dill. I mean, dill is kind of. Um, I love the dill. It's I will speaking about so change of subjects like Jill. She loves dill pickles. I don't mind the bread and butter pickles. I'll do bread and butter pickles on like sandwiches. Oh, I have all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. but she can't. She doesn't. She hates them, and I'm like, yeah, on sandwiches and stuff, I prefer. Well, the the only time I had bread and butter pickles, because I used to also hate them too, but um, I made these. I make these uh, pulled pork little sliders using King's Hawaiian bread. Ooh, and that's good bread. I like, like that. I will. Yeah, so like I'll like put obviously the pulled pork on there. I'll use some uh, yellow mustard, um, and then I will just put one single like bread and butter pickle on it. And just again to talk to back to the ketchup thing, it just adds a sweetness to an otherwise fatty thing, so you don't get palate fatigue through the whole thing. You and I have obviously been to many Brazilian steakhouses. Oh, we've yeah, experienced we these things. 
You have to, like, for me, I have to break up the meat with something that's, otherwise I'll be, like, tired from eating the same thing. So it's like, I'll, I will often be, like, in between, you know, then bring out different meats. I'll eat some vegetables. I'll do some whatever, because it, it resets my palate so that I'm not just, like, constantly eating fatty meat and just being like, oh, my God. Obviously, you were at my wedding, and we cleaned them out. <laughs> But yeah. uh, you got to – that night, not so much. I, it's weird. I don't know what it was about that night, but I had no – like there was no I, – I didn't get full. I kept eating and eating and eating, and I never got to a point where I felt full that whole it's time. It's totally left probably. It's just – I mean we also had a lot, a lot of beer that night if I remember correctly. <laughs> so that could have helped with the situation. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know you, I think we did. Oh, we did. <laughs> I mean it was your wedding, you know, so – you know, so we yeah, did. we – uh, we have to do a Brazilian steakhouse again. I, I, I oh, it's been so long. Oh, uh, dude, absolutely. Oh my God, I love. We'll, it. we'll I love say it. it's, a, it's it. the best Brazilian steakhouse in the in New England. We'll just oh. like we'll just take some pictures back. Like, we went to the best New England like Brazilian steakhouse. People would just be pissed, and they'll flame us in the comments. And but that's how we. But that's how we knew we made it. You know, your video makes it when people are trolling you or hating on you. It's like our fun spot video. It was like the Goodwill Hunting video we had. Um, yeah. So I feel like there was a third one in there. Um, I think our short that did like over six thousand. You know, like. You know you're oh, on yeah, a topic when people are just, you know, mocking you or trolling you. And you know what? Uh, me, you know, because I know I handle the comments. I don't give a shit. And I will just have fun with it back. <laughs> and if they can take it, great. Now, yes, with the uh, Fun Spot one, I'm sorry. I did not research that there was a new large arcade. I know Guinness Book called Fun Spot the world's largest arcade. But, yes, in that time that I last heard it, Chicago, speaking of Chicago, got a bigger arcade. More cabinets and space, you know, or whatever and people are like oh do, 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 do. i'm like it's just i'm like i'm not the guinness i'm not we're not they, the they, news they, i'm not you we're know, not the fucking the... news we're just two guys we're not the fucking news <laughs> we're not journalists so fucking what we were wrong guess what we're wrong about a lot of things all right it's things that we don't even talk about like 90 percent of the things we do are wrong so what we were wrong big deal yeah uh, but yes, I mean, I, back to the, to finish off on this ketchup, I just, I don't do ketchup anymore. I just, I, I don't, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Again, if it's on, if it's there and it's already part of it, I will, I seriously, I will deal with it. I am not happy about it, but you know, I, I you know me, I'm also not going to be rude. I'm going to be like, Soto, you put fucking ketchup on the meatloaf. What the fuck? I can't do it. You know, you give me, you know, if you gave me a slice of meatloaf with it on it, I, you know, I'm going to pre, you know me, I appreciate it. You know, I'm that kind of guy, <laughs> but man, I will not be happy about it. Um, <laughs> but yes, I, that, 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 I'll leave it at that. But yeah, I, that's why I don't do ketchup. It has nothing to do with being born in Chicago. That that helped being bred that way a little bit. But yeah, because I, I, like I said, I had ketchup when I was a kid. I just don't have ketchup anymore. So Yeah. Huh. Uh, 